As we travel into the human body, we are immediately confronted by its complexity. The body is home to an estimated 100 trillion cells. The amount of activity going on in just one cell is beyond anything we could possibly imagine. It's producing proteins at an incredibly high rate. Simple sugars are needed to fuel this production, while amino acids are the building blocks needed to make these proteins. If the cell is like a planet, then the nucleus is like an energetic city needing simple sugars and amino acids to power this production. The portion of the nucleus responsible for this production is called the chromosome, a place that can be thought of as a dance studio. And it is within this studio that we find the DNA molecule. It is within this DNA that we meet our principal dancers, or base pairs. Their scientific names are adenine and thymine. And although classified as nucleoproteins, in this metaphor, we can think of them both as dancers. And wow, can they dance. These two nucleoproteins are cytosine and guanine. And like adenine and thymine, they are incredible dancers too. Directing these dancers is Mr. RNA polymerase, the choreographer, who represents an enzyme in charge of protein production. The phone call represents the body communicating its need for a new protein. As Mr. Polymerase selects the dance instructors needed in this production, they release their hold on their former partners and turn around to face him. Mr. Polymerase explains to the dancers that there is a production tonight at the theater of the ribo. The ribosome, a place far away from the nucleus where protein production in the cell ultimately takes place. There are new steps to be learned for this production, and it will be their job to teach a group of new dancers these steps. Mr. Polymerase shows the dance instructors the steps for the new dance. Mr. Polymerase calls additional dancers that live in the city, the nucleus, to come to the studio. They are identical nucleoproteins, clones, if you will, of adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. The new dancers board the M train, which will take them to the dance studio. Among these dancers is the fifth and final nucleoprotein that resides within the nucleus, called uracil. Like her colleagues, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine, she is also very particular about her dance partner. The M train arrives at the dance studio, where the dance instructors have been anxiously awaiting the arrival of the new dancers. As the new arrivals meet their dance instructors, Uracil chooses the instructor Adnine as her dance partner. The new arrival Adnine chooses Thymine as his dance partner. Cytosine arrives and partners with instructor Guanine. And finally, guanine partners with instructor cytosine. The dance instructors begin teaching the new dancers the steps for the new production. The new dancers, having learned the dance, once again board the M train and travel to the dazzling theater of the ribo. Backstage at the theater of the ribo, Mr. Polymerase tells the newly arrived dancers that still another group of dancers will be arriving momentarily on the T train. These new dancers will not only perform with them, but will also be performing their own dance. This will be the finale of the show. The new dancers arrive holding the props needed for their performance of the finale. Now that both groups of dancers have paired up with their partners, they begin rehearsing the dance. 
The new arrivals have learned the dance steps and are ready for the dance performance. It's showtime. The first act is a great success. Mr. Polymerase introduces the finale. As you can see, each group of three dancers release a ball, representing an amino acid, an essential building block for protein production. Thousands of amino acids are released at the conclusion of this production, forming chains called proteins. This process of protein production takes place continuously on the more than 3,000 ribosomes contained in a single cell, making just one cell capable of producing 8 million proteins in a single day. Once made, these proteins are distributed throughout the 10,000 miles of blood vessels to organs within the body for specific uses. And responsible for all this productivity is DNA. Let's recap in scientific terms what we have learned about DNA and protein production. Under the constant direction of RNA polymerase, certain DNA nucleoprotein partners, adenine and thymine, guanine and cytosine are commissioned to separate from one another. New nucleoprotein partners are directed to replace the former ones, creating a new nucleoprotein line called messenger RNA. The nucleoproteins of messenger RNA link together in a very exact order and then leave the nucleus to travel as a group, like a porous line to a place some distance away called the ribosome. This is where the final production of protein takes place. Another group of nucleoproteins called transfer RNA has also been directed to the ribosome to pair up with messenger RNA. The pairing of these two lines of nucleoproteins is executed with amazing precision, something we will talk further about later in this presentation. Transfer RNA has the added task of transporting amino acids. When linked together, these amino acids form proteins, a fundamental building block of life. In the curriculum that follows, you will gain more detailed insight into one of the most intricate, remarkable, and amazing pieces of biological architecture imaginable. We will talk about the language and alphabet of DNA, its use in drug development and new products, its potential for gene therapy, as well as many more applications that will have a major impact in your lifetime.